don't even know what day of self isolation, isolation day this is, or essential workers, or anything to do with astrology or anything. I've been stuck at home like each and every one of you. Man, what's going on? How are you guys feeling today? I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm feeling well. I am um, in self-quarantine, although I have stepped out several times to, um, to buy the essentials, buy, you know, dog food, cat food, um, mostly my fucking dogs. I don't know what's going on, but they've been eating more than ever. They look like they're starting to try to start, um, save up body fat or some shit, man. I got to tell you, this has been um, an interesting period. Um, haven't um, been able to do our normal things that we do, although, you know, we're still doing readings. We're still um, consultating. We're still giving coaching classes. We're still doing all that. I'm just missing that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? That, um that go into the casino, which is, you know, probably better for me. I don't waste the money that I that I would waste in a casino or or maybe going rock hunting or something like that there with my better half and, and hanging out with the kids and having them, you know, take them out on little excursions and things of that sort. But other than that, I guess that everything is okay. I mean, we're still living, each and every one of us that's watching this, and, and we're still um, maintaining maintaining. That is the main thing we're doing. But today I would thought, I, I see, I saw, I came across this video on, um, on YouTube. Okay. Cause most of y'all know that I've been doing a lot of painting lately. Um, done decided to pick up the painting brush again because we got so much time on our hands. That I said, well, let me start doing something that I love again. And although the medium of, of acrylic, I got a lot to learn on that. I, I'm picking up a lot of stuff. But anyway, I want to talk to you about this video that I saw today. And the guy was talking about painting. But what I saw there, I saw it. I saw something that, that really resonated with everything else. And of course, you know, being in the spiritual community and, 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 and you know, being part of the spiritual community at large. I, I, I equated it to um, to spirituality. And the guy wanted to learn how to paint or something of that sort. And he got to this one video on YouTube and the guy told him, um, well, the guy was saying on the, vi on the video that if he wanted to be a great painter to paint something every day, paint the same thing every day. Paint the same thing every day to become a better painter. So the guy's toes to paint egrets or some fucking bird or the other. But at the end of it, he had found out, even though after, you know, 365 days of painting the same thing, he got bored of it. But he got better with it. So the same thing goes for spirituality. Most of you guys, mostly everyone when they first start out, they start out as a doer of all things. I'm going to do, I'm going to be a tarot card reader. You know what? I like fixing candles. Or I like doing this type of work or that type of work. And, you know, and, 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 and put in a smorgasbord of things inside their spirituality. Never really mastering one. So when I saw this, it kind of hit me hard because I remember when I first started reading, I was doing reading 24 hours a day. And my thing was reading. That, that was my thing. Learning how to contact spirit, learning how to be in one with spirit and being able to read for people. See, all the work and all that stuff came on later on. See, because we cannot, as humans, be master of all trades. It's impossible. Our lives are too short. And even when you look back on the villages and you think about the villages and you think about all these things, people weren't doing a multitude of things. There were masters at one thing. See, there was the hunting class, there was the gathering class, there was this class, there was that class, or the fishermen, or the this, or the that. See, because if while we're all busy trying to do everything, 
nothing is getting done. We're a master of nothing. We are not mastering anything. So for you guys and ladies who are first just starting out on this path, I will tell you the same thing that that man told the other man on that YouTube video. Let's take this time here to master one thing. One thing. Whether it be painting, whether it be a particular spell, whether it be reading. Let's master one thing. Let's put all our energy into that one thing that's going to get you over the top. See, no one has ever gotten in doing 10 things at one time. You have to learn how to master your craft, how to be able to work it to your success. Ain't no way in hell I am going to be able to be the best reader, the best worker, the best um, manipulator of science if I'm doing all things at once. There is a way to be able to do these things. But you got to become one with that thing that you're chasing. See, even in a village, there was one bead maker. But that one bead maker knew how to do a thousand different patterns. There was one, no true fisherman, that went out and caught the biggest fish. But guess what? That's all they fucking did was fish. There was one diviner. But he lived and breathed divining. So let's stop spreading ourselves thin and master one thing. Master one. And at the end of all this, you'll be all right, baby. And as you notice, I am playing a little bit of different type of music because, um, because I'm trying to keep myself from getting banned on Facebook, YouTube, and all this kind of other stuff. So, you know, so the funk is going to have to be put down to the side until I'm able to find a platform where I can, where I'm able to play this type of music without getting banned or muted and all this stuff here. So you're listening to It's 12 o'clock somewhere. I am Candelo Candisa. I'll be right back, baby. playing? Lord knows it probably isn't. Let's see. Let's see. Speakers Bluetooth are supposed to be working. It is supposed to be working, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a minute while I... playing for some reason. Let's try something else. And the same thing is happening. What the hell? This is the craziest thing ever. So I got a whole bunch of people who can't share to no other platforms. No, well, actually, I am sharing to other platforms from um, you, from you now. So you now will let me share it to um, Facebook and let me share it to all these things. So yes, I am actually sharing to other platforms and I'm able to, and I am able to do this. I don't know what's going on with my music guys, but um, we are trying. Give us a minute while we fix this problem. I'm going to turn the speaker off and turn it back on. Hopefully this will work. And YouTube signal is on. Give me one second, guys. YouTube speaker is on. The music seems to be playing, but I do not know what's going on, guys. So what is the other trick that I can use on this? I'm going to turn the speaker off completely. Sorry, guys. This is the 
music is playing on speaker yet it is not playing here. Could you go on speaker and check that out, Muhammad Rasulullah. And I'm sorry, guys. This is the way this goes. Okay, <laughs> Shut 
في حرقتك يا مشى في حرقتك يا مشى في حرقتك يا مرض الما والضي كل من تاكلك كل من Today is Wednesday. Have y'all played y'all lottery numbers yet? I'm pretty sure you won't be able to pick up your money to after May, but y'all need to go on ahead and start playing them goddamn numbers. All right? So today, I was thinking, man, see, because I, I, I made this a couple of years ago, okay? And, um, of course, I use my candelos and, oh, shit, candelos, candles, and curios um, pen pencil for this, and um, 
a couple of years ago, I was thinking, okay, I was thinking, um, how can I make my, my lottery and my gambling things a little bit better, or a little bit more, um, a little bit, I'm sorry, I'm out of fucking breath after dancing and shit. How can I make this a little bit more my side? You know what I'm saying? Because as conjure workers, we're always looking for ways to, to come up, okay? For, for ways uh, to do things a little bit more easier for us, okay? So a couple of years ago, um, through prayer and meditation, I was given something to be able to help children that were having troubles in tests in school, okay? And um, I called it a conjuring pencil. Okay, a regular new pencil. Okay, so I said to myself, well, how can I help children that are having problems in school? All right. So I said, well, most tests today, well, in that time, we're taking in pencil. I don't know how the hell they take them now, being the technology is so fucking crazy. But most tests were taking um, in pencil. So I said to myself, well, let me work a conjuring pencil. Let me work a pencil. So it will be beneficial to the person taking the test and, and to the parents where they can give them a hand and, you know, the kids don't really have to know anything about it. So what I did was um, I took off the eraser. I took off the eraser part of it, then cut the eraser down to half. So, you know, when you take out the eraser, it leaves a hole inside of there. So by cutting it in half, I could stuff the pencil with certain things that I needed. But, you know, me being the ever-loving necromancer, I said, I have to put a spirit inside this pencil. So I got one of my friends who happened to live by a very famous intellectual's um Graveyard. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want no bullshit, okay? But, uh, you know, uh, either a teacher or an intellectual or a rocket scientist, someone of that, of that type of nature. So I got them to bring, send me some dirt over. So I took that dirt and I stuffed it inside of here. Once, you know, the, they originally got the dirt. And they just didn't go and fucking grab some dirt out of someone. They had to, you know, actually say who it was for. What was the ends to the means of the dirt that we were using? You know, it was to help people go to school and finish and test and things of that sort. Then for mail, I put decided to put a little bit of High John the Conqueror, okay? Because High John the Conqueror, bro, let me tell you, he gets everything. Uh, gets everything done to a certain thing. For a woman, I put a little bit of um, Queen Elizabeth Root, okay? But then I put a little bit of Rosemary. Now, you guys are saying, why do you put rosemary in Sydney, um, Ken Little? Because rosemary takes, all right, or secures certain things. So I don't want them just to be marking things. I want them to actually read it, be able to take some understanding of it, and whatever is put on there, they'll be able to retain it inside their brains. Last but not least, I put a little bit of patchouli in there. And why did I put patchouli? Because patchouli is a controlling herb, okay? One, one, you need to control the spirit that you put inside the pen to be able to do whatever you want it to do. But you also have to be able to control the person who is using the pencil's nerves and, you know, the anxiety of taking a test. Now, you guys say, well, damn, Candela, we were just talking about gambling, and now you're talking about schoolwork and children. Well... The reason I came about the way that I did the gambling portion of this was because I got it through thinking about children and a manifestation about how to help children in school. But then I decided I was going to do this for gambling, okay, for gambling, for marking out my lottery papers, for locking out my, my, um, my cash three, all these kinds of things that I do. So I said to myself, well, I cannot find the grave of a gambler or, 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 or a good gambler. So I went to money institutions. I went to banks. I went to stores. I went to a particular gas station that has been known to hit. Okay, people have known to be hit there for years. I mean, they've had a $70,000 winner. 
They have 80,000 winner. They had a million dollar winner. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to go get some dirt from that place that I know that someone has won a large amount of money. So I put those dirts inside of the pencil. Of course, for gambling, okay, the only thing that changes from all the rest of the things that I put in there is that I put a piece of buckeye and a piece of nutmeg inside of there. And if you really, 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 really want to be brave, I'm going to give you a secret that a lot of people won't tell you. Of course, because a lot of old workers, once, you know, once they get older, they stop telling people about all that stuff. But what I do is, I take a piece of nutmeg, all right, and a single drop of quicksilver, of mercury. Mm -hmm. I cover it all up with wax, and then I put the thing in there, okay? You say, well, mercury, yeah, mercury, fast money, fast luck. And a lot of old workers will tell you, oh, you can't do that, it's not ethical, blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. We've been using this shit for years, and we're going to continue using it for years. All right? So if you want that kind of luck, if you want to help somebody out, remember this story. Please don't hit me up on my inbox asking me about this shit. I done gave you enough information enough as it is for free. And most of you motherfuckers, when you hit, you ain't going to send me shit anyway. So y'all enjoy y'all day and let's start to doing this stuff here. Because you know where we at. And this has become a favorite of this show, okay? This is Bembecito Apocan with his group, Ilu Aye. In the studio with Siete Rayos. I'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh,
social media um, things where you can download the music and check out this wonderful artist based out of New York City. So go on ahead and check them out. Bembecito Apocan, Ilu Aye. They are absolutely everywhere, so do check them out. So like I said, guys, you know, um, let's practice these next couple of days. These next couple of days that we're all inside of this, some of us are going to be in here longer than others, okay? Let's practice one thing, all right? Let's master one art, all right? Let's master one art. If it's bead making, then me bead, make bead making your, your obsession, okay? If it's tarot cards, let tarot cards be your obsession. If it's doing little works of little things, please do your little works, okay? But master two or three of them, okay? 
master two or three of them. Because I've always found it hard how somebody is going to read about a, a certain working or, or a certain spell or, or something like this here. And they find out about it and all of a sudden it's on their fucking website page or it's on their Facebook and they're promoting this shit out to people saying that this is some type of work that they're doing for people, <clears throat> okay? Before you actually do this, man, make, take time and find out if this work actually works for you, okay? If there's something that everybody should be practicing right now, okay, is self-care, okay? Self-care, guys. Let's learn how to keep our heads right and how to communicate with our ancestors a little bit better. Many of us are going outside of our traditions and looking for things and putting things into practice that have that do not meld with our ancestral cord. Okay? So once you get these ancestors together, okay, and you get them on the same page that you're on, okay? Because I remember a conversation that I had with Yayi Joyce on um, the Hoodoo Healing Circle the other day. See, there's a lot of people incorporating a lot of stuff into their 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 spiritual um, conundrum, as to speak, and none of these things really act well or go right with their ancestors. Okay, like the the thing where everybody now is is burning hell money and putting hell money on their altars. Okay, we got to understand, guys, that the most elevated spirits in our spiritual court didn't know what the fuck hell money was. All right? A lot of them, a lot of the older, older spiritual beings that walk with us didn't even know what the fuck money was. Okay? They traded twinkets. They traded this. To some of them, their money might have been some good food, some fish. That might have been their fucking commodity. So you have to find out which one of these spirits actually dealt with this type of magic or what was their meaning or their thing for abundance? Okay? Not everybody's shit. Let me tell you something. My grandmother, right there, this lady right here, my grandmama would have fucking killed me if I would have burnt a goddamn dollar. All right? That shit wasn't happening in our house, in a, in, a, in a physical house, and it's damn sure not going to happen in her spiritual plane, in her spiritual plane. She'd be like, what the fuck you burning that shit for? So, guys, learn what it is. Learn what your ancestors use for commodity. Learn what they actually did. Some of them might have been trading goddamn cowrie shells for all the fuck we know. All right? So before you bring something new into your spiritual thing, make sure it sits right with your fucking ancestral cord. Stop doing something because this person did it or because that person did it or because it looks pretty on fucking Facebook. Do you have um, Chinese or Asian ancestry? where hell notes are burned and, and, and played with and all this stuff here? Do you? Because if not, it'll be like grandma right there. She'll be talking about why the fuck you burning that Monopoly money? The kids need that. But of course, what the fuck do I know? I know one thing. I ain't learning my shit because everybody else doing it. I'm learning it because it works for me and for the people that I work for. Another thing, I see people all the time giving antidotes for workings. Well, you know what? I'm going to wait until I'm finished with this little thing right here, and I'll tell you about that when I come back after this little um, song right here because um, we need to go on ahead and play a little bit more music because y'all falling asleep on me. And that's not what we need. And where the hell is that song? Where is that song? And now I can't find it. Isn't this great? 
But you know what? We'll find something to play for you. Let's play a little Lucas Brandoni with Negro Fino. Negro, Negro que me dé la, la mano, mano tiene que ser Negro Fino. Fino. Blanco, I know Instagram is going to go dead on me in a little while, but just keep it on. Tiene que ser my Negro Fino. Every time I play certain songs, I like to be the Ay, negro, que me dé la mano.
won't tell you that this quarantine is not affecting them. But I got to tell you that this thing affects everyone across the board. Okay? See, now the one problem is, the one thing that I see is that everybody is running for spiritual work and road opening work and money work right now. Okay? This is something that most of you had to do two or three months ago when shit was going good. See, we as spiritual workers and practitioners sometimes forget that some of the most important work we have to do is for ourselves. We have to keep the roads open for ourselves. We have to keep these this sanity good for ourselves. Okay? So everyone gets three or four dollars and forgets all of a sudden about fucking spiritual work. Fuck this. I'm doing good. I'm doing well. The clients are knocking at my door, blah, blah, blah. Spirit is with me or whatever the fuck you want to say. But you didn't do any work to be able to retain or keep this money. You didn't do anything to be able to stop these blockages that life throws up in front of you. So today I'm, gonna, I'm going to advise you or tell you guys that this prosperity work, that this money work, that this road opening work that you do for others on a daily basis, you also have to do for yourself and you have to constantly, constantly work at it. It is important that you forever keep your walls up, your spiritual protections up. It is important that you keep your money up. It is important, baby. So most of you motherfuckers that get two or three dollars, forget about that shit and go on a trip to goddamn Disney World. Well, shit. Let me tell you something. When I'm on my trip to Disney World, I'm picking up dirt from Disney World. Because Disney World brings in a whole bunch of motherfucking money. I think of everything on spiritual terms. Although I may be out there rock hunting or, 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 or painting a pain or, 
or whatever it is that I'm doing. I incorporate my magic into everything. Even when I'm painting, I'm putting some come to me oil on my paintings. Even when I'm painting, I'm painting some some type of sigil on my painting so that person can see it. And somehow that spiritual light comes on. So remember to incorporate some type of spirituality into everything you do. And remember, just because you're doing well, doesn't mean that shit can't turn south. Learn how to keep your spiritual walls up. Do this on a daily basis. Work that money, baby. Because you know people are working against you. Well, guys, I am Candelo Kimbisa. I am so happy that all of you came over here and checked me out today. I will be going live some other time. I don't know when. But I want to keep y'all, you know, I want to keep y'all on y'all seats. I want to keep y'all, y'all wanting to see me. Because I really think that most people that go on live five, six times a day, they lonely as fuck. And I got my better half. And I got most of you. Love y'all. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe out there. Clean your ass. Wash your ass. Wash your hands. And don't go out unless you need to. I am Candelo Kimbisa, the bald head wonder. And as always, may all the eggums and shadows that accompany you have all the necessary light. From where I sit, that's it, baby. Talk to y'all later. Me debo tiempo, no te, me debo tiempo, es Dios, o me debo tiempo, no te, me debo tiempo, huele a... Turn this off.